What's going on, you lot? Midi here. Guys, Warrior Ash, we've got a chainsaw build with him, and he is... I, I, what I'm going to say, every time I roll with this build, I'm out damaging the hunters. I'm out damaging any warriors in the team. It's just such a good build. And obviously, kind of like Scotty with the Lumberjack Axe, Warrior Ash gets the weapon benefit with the chainsaw. And I think the Lumberjack Axe and the chainsaw are some of the best melee weapons in the game, honestly. They do insane amount of damage. This is my chainsaw build, kind of similar to the one that we see of Scotty, where we're just going for that dismember kind of build. I always make sure I've got C and Stars on. And obviously, damage with the one-handed weapon, because the chainsaw is a one-handed weapon. More or less, this is like my full damage build with a little bit of tankiness of tougher than hell guys this build is so good if you are warrior ash main use it you ain't gonna regret it just need to find a chainsaw we're gonna jump into a game see how well this build actually goes off as always smash like on the video let's go all right guys let's do this aod ash back in business kind of not too far off the scotty build really yeah i do wonder who would actually come out on top with that you've got scotty for the lumberjack axe and then you've got warrior ash's weapon with the chainsaw. What weapon do you actually think is better? The chainsaw or the lumberjack axe? I'm not too sure. I've not sat there and actually looked at like the dismember damage and the balance bar damage and tried to work it out. But it is where it is. We are up against the puppeteer, which I actually think is a little bit of a relief right now with the whole state of the game at the minute. Think about it. I don't know. You guys are going to see it this week. I've got a warlord build that is guaranteed to win on the book every single time. And it is disgusting. Like it will get patched. It needs to get patched. I just feel like with this game and just so many is that when something's overpowered and they fix it, something else just comes back. You know what I mean? Like, nerf one thing and then there's another 20 things that are overpowered. Oh, I don't know. Will the game ever be balanced? We'll have to see. I've gone for max stamina. Always get max stamina on the warriors because they're slow as fuck. And they need the stam. Yeah. So with the build anyway, if you can't find a chainsaw, which is really annoying, just pick up any one-handed sharp weapon and you're good to go. Normally works pretty well. But yeah, the machete, the knife. You can just look on your inventory if you don't know if it's a sharp weapon. But come on, self-explanatory. Pickaxe and stuff, they're blunt weapons, I think. Pretty sure they are, yeah. I used to sit there like trying to figure out. If you just look on your inventory, it actually tells you. It gives you a little description. So I have zoomed off in car because it looks like no one's doing objectives here. It's going to be on me to do this. We've got the Ed, we've got Cheryl, and we've got Henry. This, right now, I think is probably the most solid synergy you're going to get. Ed is so good for, obviously, the crate loot. But more enemies drop colas and amulets. And in stages where you haven't really got a chance to loot, having enemies actually drop stuff like that, like colas, it's clutch. Let's do this. Absolutely clutch. Our map piece is here. This is actually a result. Normally, it's quite hard to find on the castle walls. It stretches out, like, all the way from the east side to the west. It's quite annoying. Hey, mate, machete ain't that bad. I'm hoping we do actually come across a chainsaw. This isn't just light, it's illumination. Next one's a castle candle keep. I think it would actually be quite good in this game. If they kind of shift the skill tree abilities so that they kind of remove a few that, you know, don't get picked as much and put a few more decent ones in. Maybe something like warriors can hold more colas. I know what you're going to say. Yeah, but that's what the supports are for. But maybe, you know, to change out with your team and not roll with a support, which I don't recommend. The skill tree got changed like that. It's not too bad. Now, I do actually hate looting this castle can I keep because it takes about an hour to run up here. Oh, you guys thought I was going to cut out, didn't you? No, 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 no. <laughs> you're, you're coming with me on this journey. Normally, it's actually all right as well if the demon is on you. Oh, look at that. Two colas. I'm fully maxed out. So even if the demon chases you up here, Two things. First, he's probably going to get the glitch where he can move really slowly. And the second thing is there's barely any infernal energy up here. So you probably have to deal with one mob and then you're good. So a lot of demons don't actually chase you up here. Okay, cool. They've actually got the keep. Actually got that. I'm not going to take the meat ammo. I don't need it. Right, I'm going to put points into my shield now just because this is normally what I do. I'll start putting points into my shield when I've just, you know, max amulets. Sort of the style I do. And I put a point into my melee as well. Everyone was telling me off, I think, saying, like, warriors shouldn't have pistols. But, guys, listen. If I'm going to get possessed, I'm just going to drop my pistol anyway. Oh, we got the chainsaw. Let's go. Now, we've got the build. I don't know if the chainsaw spawns there every single time. But if it does, that's one of the spots for it. Now, we're going to have an absolute result. I want to see how much damage I can do. I'm kind of in a radius of the Cheryl here. So, if she's, if she goes down, I'll go get her. Oh, here we go. Finally. If they didn't put that there, I'd probably cry. 
Sweet, that's it. Three map pieces done. Five minutes in. Oh my god, here we go. Here we go. That's, that's, all, that's all I was looking for the whole game. We are sorted now. Epic chainsaw. I think like even a blue chainsaw and you're sorted. Not to say the grey one's not bad. Still do massive damage. And points at Smithy. This is going to be an absolute clutch game. Look at that. Oh, one hit on the AI mobs. They go down. That's crazy. What a result. All right, let's do this. Start the point off. We've got another crate here, I think. But I'm actually just going to start this. Put a little bit of pressure on a demon. Let's go. And there's a nice little light source around here, so I can always watch my fear. You drink your pot, really, if your fear's getting bad. But I actually do like saving it, because normally when you go against the Necromancer, you want to use your potion for that, so you take reduced damage and bulk out a load of damage. Oh, fuck off. That shit. This is it. We are... I reckon right now, look, Demon's level 6. First point started. It's nowhere near 10. Absolute chainsaw damage. I tell you what, if there's any more puppeteers rolling with that elite build, I'm still not 100% on that. But I did actually see that the puppeteers elites can actually sort of do that electric strike when their balance bar goes to the bottom and it damages the book. I mean, that's pretty OP, but puppeteers worst damage for book. I mean, yeah, he's not really putting up much of a fight here, is he? There he is. Turning into the puppeteers elites. Oh, shit. Look at that damage, though. I don't know what I'm more a fan of, personally. If you're using the chainsaw in this build or using Scotty's lumberjack build. I think they're both really good. I mean, that's the dagger done. That was pretty easy. Oh, guys, I did actually want to tell you lot as well. I don't know how many of you actually know this. The Evil Dead's Twitter, they actually made a tweet saying how there's going to be like a Savani skin. Savani? Savani? Whatever. However you say it. So kind of like the collector's pass one, but it's like a red variant of it. You can actually get this exclusive skin. They put a link on their Twitter. You can go there. You can buy a t-shirt and it comes with a code. Now, whether you want to spend $40 on a t-shirt and a skin, I mean, that's completely up to you. Really, they should be giving me the skin. Give, give me the skin, all right? I'm the one making all the content. I was thinking about buying a few and maybe giving them away later on in the channel. Hopefully, if it becomes an exclusive skin, you know. Give back to you lot, you know. But yeah, it's on their Twitter if you actually do want to get it. I know that a lot of you probably don't care about skins, but I know there's probably a few of you there that actually do want to sort of have a really exclusive skin and stand out. Let's protect the Cheryl with the chainsaw. Oh, he's focusing me. When you got that Henry doing the balance bar damage, you're coming in with the pure chainsaw dismember damage. I mean, his elites aren't standing an absolute chance right now. He's super underleveled as well, level 10. That's what I'm saying. When you rush them objectives at the start, they've got no chance. They're doing good, though. i tell you what, though. The puppeteer, when you're, like, got no stamina of warrior and you can't dodge there. All right, here he goes. It's the electric build, man. I'm telling you, this shit only works on people that can't dodge. Every damn time. But he's level 11. Why is he not pulling out boss? Puppeteer's boss has got the lowest cooldown out of every single one, so you want to take advantage of it. Right. I've not even used my ability here. He could have actually zoned me there. What's he going for? Light attacks. Yep. Going for the Henry that just popped his ult. Pointless, really. Not bad though. Dude, he's just wasting time at the minute. That was an absolute flop. Oh! Oh! Look at that dismember damage. Tell me the dismember damage right now ain't good. Look at this shit. I can I already know I'm gonna be top of the charts right now. Shell comes in with a coda. That was a perfect kill to be honest with you. Oh, here comes the elite. Did anyone get hit by the electric? I don't think so. You guys don't actually know what people do with these elites normally. Is they wait for you to knock out their balance bar. And then they use the electric. And it automatically shocks you. Like, you, you ain't got no time to dodge it. 
That's normally what a lot of players do. But do I think it's worth making a puppeteer elite build over that? No. Ooh, lumberjack axe. Only we were Scotty. Right, here we go. Got a shields maxed out. Another amulet as well. Sweet. Some special ammo if you want to. Some pistol ammo, actually. Right. Really, we might as well just rush it. Level 15, <laughs> early advantage. No me now. Oh, you lot know the score. I mean, how many colors? I've got three colors still and two amulets. I think Cheryl. She just actually said she needed amulets. I think Cheryl's doing all right. Might as well just head straight over there. I mean, look, 100 meters away, not too bad. We could just literally rush all these objectives. I mean, I don't think it's anything better than hitting a basic AI mob and they instantly die. I will take any build just over that. The only problem with going for a pure damage build on a warrior is just because, of, you know, every demon's possessing the basic mobs and you kind of want to sponge as much as you can. You know, I never put the clone out there. Why would you put a clone there? If you just make a clone, literally right there, you get a free item normally every time you kill it. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's help Michelle out quickly. Actually, want him to get off her. Hey, look at that, though. Look. That is so good. Yeah, I feel like he ain't got a chance here. Another amulet. I think this is honestly the team comp, guys. An Ed, a Cheryl, a Henry, and a Warrior Ash, and you are literally good to go. Although there are some demon builds that I think it don't matter what team you have, you're in big trouble if they're not what they're doing. Here we go. Yes, book started. Drop a cola here, in case they need it. Sometimes I've just got to be a little bit careful. Soon it, look, they always try to get some early hits on the book. You know that little animation where the dark ones disappear? A lot of demons, sometimes what they do is they possess a mob and stand right on top of it. So while the animation's going off, they get a couple free hits. And you lot know in the book stage, it's all about getting them extra hits in. He's going straight book damage here. He knows he ain't got a chance here. See what I mean though? Under leveled, I can tell you something now guys. It don't matter how fast you rush people, even if the demon's under leveled, never underestimate them going for the book. Ever. I mean, look at the book. Almost one third. Not even halfway yet, so you've got to be careful here. Yep, going for the elite. You see, if he actually procced his electric right there when the balance bar went down, he would have hit the book with that. I think he knows it, though. Shit. Oh God, he's actually getting damage on book. Sometimes what I like to do is I kind of like to body block the actual book. Just so he can't go near it. Okay, he pulled that boss. I think it must be on cooldown for him. All right, yeah, he's pure book. Oh, mate, he went down so quick. See, that's what I mean. When you're not level 20 here, boss just ain't going to be as tanky. I mean, look, fair play, though. Look, got it halfway down. He's not even 20. Look, we've got to actually be careful here. Uh, shit, this is going to be really close, man. He could actually win this. Let's have things on cooldown for him. Oh, shit. Get the book. Let's get the fucking book. Try and kill. Oh no! Oh my god! If he seriously propped his electric day, oh mate, that would have done so much damage. I think as well when a puppeteer's elite proc their electric, I think anyone in a radius it does like even more damage. I'm not sure though. Five seconds, come on! Yeah, we got this. I think it must be on cooldown for him. Fucking hell! Level. He was level 19. You see how much damage he done on the book as puppeteer. Don't ever underestimate demons, man, that you rush. God. Curious on my damage, though. What was the damage? I'm hoping I got the highest. 46k. Not bad. I, I mean, not bad at all. Would the chainsaw build? I think if that was Warlord and I'm a bit more tanky, I would have got even more. God damn.